Hello everyone, welcome to Thrifting After Work. My name is David and today I have an awesome video for you. I have a $250 wholesale shoe box here that I'm gonna be unboxing, going through all the shoes, talking about profits. Stick around to see what happens. All right, before we get started, if you're coming back to my channel, thank you so much for returning for another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you enjoy the content, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot. Also, if you like the video, please drop a like on it. It really helps me out. It lets YouTube know I'm doing an okay job over here and it would really mean a lot. Also, I gotta do something about this hair. What is going on with my hair today? How am I gonna control this? Let's go see what's over there. Oh, hey, how's it going? All right, guys, so sometimes things just work out perfectly. Um, I had ordered this actually the day before this box was released, and they arrived on the very same day. So it's just very fortuitous, so I'm going to go ahead and do a double unboxing today and get this open because I'm super excited for this Rally Roots beanie. Like I said, I was going through, I ordered it the day before. I was like, you know what? I saw that beanie. I was like, that's a really cool beanie. I want to support somebody in the reseller community. So I wanted to pick one up. And very next day, I got this $250 wholesale box from Drew from Profit Monsters off of the Rally Roots collaboration for the big shoe buyout. I'm so excited to get this open and talk through it. That's better, look at that, looking fresh, looking clean. So before I get into the box, I just wanna say two things. One, this couldn't have been possible without both Ryan from Rally Roots and Drew from Profit Monsters. Um, I'm gonna link all of the videos in my description so you can go through and watch this whole saga unfold. And I wanna give a big shout out to Drew for making this opportunity available to other resellers. He made a deal with Ryan from Rally Roots and then he put out 20 of these wholesale boxes, put an amazing amount of work out in less than a couple of days of sorting the shoes, getting a website built, doing all this work just to help other resellers in the community. He absolutely could have kept these shoes and made a bigger profit, um, but he wanted to spread the love. So I really appreciate that, Drew. Thanks so much for the opportunity. I'm super excited to get my shoes and open them up for everybody. All right, so the way I'm gonna do this is, I was thinking, I was trying to think of the best way because I wanna A, get my reaction to the shoes, my genuine reaction to the shoes. And I also wanna kind of break down how much each shoe's worth, what the value is, and what I think I can make off of my $250 investment. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the box, I'm gonna go through each shoe one by one and give my genuine reaction. After that, I'm gonna lay all the shoes out, and pretty quickly, I'm just gonna kinda scan from shoe to shoe. Um, after I do a little research and look up the comps, and I'm just gonna put up the sold comps and what I think the value of each of the 20 shoes is, just for the sake of time, uh, I want, you know, I don't want this to be a 45 minute video, but I want to get all that information out there because I want to show everyone else what I think I can make and also just do the research for myself. And then I'm going to get all the shoes listed and sold and, and make all the money. So I'm excited for it. Let's get into it. Let's start opening this up. All right guys, so there is the first look at the box. All the shoes are here. I've got a nice note from Drew, so I'm gonna go ahead and read that to everybody and then we'll get going through. All right, so the note says, David, thank you for purchasing a wholesale box. I hope you like the shoes and make some money. Happy listing, Drew. There is a PS on here. So PS, I noticed the Brooks had a flaw after creating the box, so I added an extra pair of shoes. Hope that's okay. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely sure it's gonna be okay, Drew. Thanks so much for the the kind words and the integrity of you know 
seeing something was wrong and doing something to make it right. I really appreciate that. All right, so let's start out with the first pair here. Um, it is a pair of Brooks, and he, maybe these are the ones he's talking about, and, and it is. I do see right away um, that there is a rip um, on these Brooks shoes. Otherwise, they do look pretty good. Um, treads a little bit worn, but otherwise not too bad. Um, I'll still probably try to sell them even with the flaw, and you know, definitely at a, at a pretty discounted price there. Um, maybe even just trying to recoup what I paid for them, or, or less, or I just donate them. Um, but otherwise, very clean, um, you know, as advertised, the shoes will not need a lot of cleaning. So, good first start. All right, so moving on, the next pair is a pair of Nike Zooms. These are in really good shape. I'll try to show the camera um, all around, and again, I'll do kind of a pan around for all the shoes. When I find them, these are a size nine, so a great size, nice blue, not a lot of wear, really good pair of shoes right here. Okay, so the next ones are a pair of Vans high tops here. Um, again, really good looking, a little bit of wear on the bottom, but almost not so much. You can still see every bit of the pattern there. Really clean pair of shoes, a little bit smaller of a size. Um, and they look like they do need, uh, I don't know if these are the original laces, but they might need a new pair of laces, but otherwise another good pair of shoes right here. Man, I'm just looking in this box. I'll give you guys a little flash there. You know, it, it's looking like every one of these pairs of shoes is going to be great. So I'm really excited. Coming up next, we have a pair of just Converse All-Stars here really really great condition I, I don't I don't know if these have ever been worn I think yeah there's a little bit there's a little bit of marks on the uh, top of the toe there that is going to come right out with a magic eraser you can still see the whole Converse logo inside the shoe and if you look at the sole there I don't know what's coming up on the camera but these are in awesome awesome shape looking at the mesh all the way around really really clean another awesome pair of shoes Next up, I have a pair of Nikes here. These look like they are women's Nikes size, yeah, women's size eight and a half. Really good tread on the bottom. Not the best colorway, just a gray and white, but just as like a basic pair of shoes. Uh, these are really good. Again, Drew, as he put the video out, um, was not promising grails. It was, it was very open and honest. Um, and I actually, I, I saw a picture of most of the shoes that I got before I purchased. This wasn't really a mystery box. It was just a wholesale box that was put out. Um, and it was advertised as, you know, bread and butter shoes. And that's exactly what these are. Really good quality here. Um, again, don't need almost any, yeah, almost no cleaning needed before I can get these up and listed. And then the next pair is these women's Saucony. I see these a lot. These are kind of like almost like the Hoka A6 combo knockoff type shoes. Uh, women's pair here, again, great tread on the bottom. That's really what you want to look for when you're getting when you're getting shoes is a good tread and no other flaws. Smaller size women's five and a half, so these might sit for a little bit, um, but a great pair of shoes. Laces are good, um, and yeah, no flaws, all, all cleaned up, ready to list. This is... This is better than advertised already. Um, I'm super excited. All right, now we got our first pair of non-athletic shoes. These are a pair of Floor Shines, and they look to be brand new, maybe worn inside one time, um, but excellent bottoms, no visible wear on the bottoms inside looking good oh they still have they still have paper in them they still have the paper inside so these look really good and these are look, they look like they'd be a great size maybe like a eight or a nine a men's seven so a little bit smaller but yeah both of them still have the pack like, these are brand new these are awesome these are going to sell really really quick
All right, so next up, another kind of non-athletic shoe, but still good. These are, what are these? These are Jambu bare feet design. So these are almost like, or do they have, no, they're, so they're almost like toe shoes, but they're meant to be kind of worn barefoot, look like they're waterproof. Again, almost nowhere on the bottoms. These are, look like to be a women's, yeah, or a six and a half men's, looks like six and a half men's. Um, so I'll probably list these with both the men's and women's size because they're kind of neutral with the green. Um, but yeah, I've never even, I've never heard of these before. So I'm gonna, I'll be excited when I check the, uh, the comps on this. And it says water ready right here. So they're definitely waterproof, meant to be worn outside when you're going and doing some maybe beach hiking or like hiking through some trails near a river. They look like a great pair of shoes. All right, and these next ones here, I am excited about. These look awesome. Look at that bottom there, perfectly clear. Everything is, looks great. I think these are a pair of Kyrie's. I think these are Kyrie's, but look at that. They, they oh, man. There are six youth, so I think it's, I believe it's one and a half size up in women's. So I can list these as either a six youth or a, I think, eight and a half women's. But look at, look at these shoes, guys. Look at that. They're beautiful. They need no cleaning. Even just the little Nike logo. I don't know if you can see that. The little Nike logo on here, you can still see everything. Man, I'm so jazzed about what is in this box. All right, so next up we got another pair of Nikes. These are a really great looking pair of Nike women's shoes. Pink and gray with some mesh on the sides. These are, does it say what type? They're nine and a half. I don't know the exact um, model of these Nikes, but again, they look great. Tread on the bottom is awesome. They look really, really clean. I'll do a little bit of cleaning just to get them up to the to my standard, but oh man, so good. Look, you can still see the Nike logo in the bottom of the shoes there. Again, I don't know what's coming up on the camera. Um, I'm doing all of this kind of in one take, so we'll see what, what comes up at the end, but man, great looking shoes. All right, so now we got another pair of non-athletic shoes. These are some Merrells. Tread looks great. Oh, there's a look. See, okay, so there's a little bit of wear on this shoe. This is like the first, besides the, the Brooks, this is kind of the first, I would say, not flaw, but just not higher quality of the shoe. So this left shoe has definitely some more wear than the right shoe, but the insides, the insoles look great. You can still see the whole Merrill logo. Um, great color, just some comfortable shoes here. These will still sell. Um, and yeah, these are these are still good quality, but definitely not um, as good as quality as some of the other shoes, but that's okay. I wasn't expecting every shoe in here to be perfect, and it was not advertised as every shoe is going to be perfect. Again, this is a reseller wholesale box, not a, you know, brand new shoes, not even like advertised as perfect inventory. So still a great pair of shoes. All right, next up, I got a pair of, oh, another pair of Brooks. These ones, oh, I love the color on these. Look at that, look at that neon green. Pure Flow Books, Brooks, Dr. Scholl series insoles. Let's see, what size are these? These almost look like they're my size. These might not make it out. They are, they are a size 13. And a little bit of wear on the bottom. Not a perfect sole, but a little bit of wear. These, yeah, these might not make it up. These might not make it for sale. Um, Cause I really like the color. Even the, uh, oh, what are these called? The uh, something let's on the, uh, on the laces are still perfect. These are really, really great, but I'm gonna check the comps on these and depending on what the comps are, these might just go straight in my closet. I've gone through, so look, there's still like two layers of shoes in here. Look at this. I knew, again, this is almost the same reaction that drew, I'm, 
I knew how many shoes were going to be in the box. It was going to be 20 shoes in the box. And I've gone through, I've gone through, let me, let me move a little bit here. I've gone through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm a little over halfway done. And look, it's, it's still, and there's still some hitters in here. Look at this. All right, next up. I got a pair of, another pair of floor shines. These ones do have some wear. They have been worn, but the leather looks really, really in good shape. The insoles look really, really good. The leather insole, you can still see most of the logo on. And yeah, even on the uh, even on the heel, you can still see the Floor Shine logo there. So these ones, again, these are nice loafers. I'll check the comps on these. We'll see how, I, I, I'm not too familiar with how, I see Floor Shines a lot, but I never really picked them up. Again, they are a bread and butter shoe. So I'll check it out and see what the comps are going for. All right, I got and I'm going to have to start kind of putting these where not everybody's going to be able to see them, but we will get to the, uh, the reveal later. And next up here, we have, these are, oh, new, looks, yeah, new with tags. New with tags, Skechers on the go. Never been worn, perfect insole, still has the, the Scotchgard tag on it. Brand new pair of shoes. This is, this is a brand new pair of shoes. You know, no matter what, this is going to at least double. You know, like they're not the, they're not like the most sought after, but they're a brand new pair of shoes. They're going to at least double my money on what I paid for this shoe. That's awesome. I knew, and I knew there, there I knew there was going to be a couple new with tags. There was definitely in the in the big lot of shoes. Again, hopefully you guys go check out those videos. There's gonna be some new with tag shoes. So I knew there were gonna be some in there, but again, when you see them, especially amongst a box like this, it's, you know, it's, it's still great to see. All right, next up, we got a pair of New Balance here. These are some women's New Balance. And amazing looking tread, really, really clean all the way around. I don't know if these were cleaned or if they were just hardly ever worn. I think they were hardly ever worn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that because there's no cracking on the tag. The sole insole, you can still see the whole logo here. These are New Balance Response 1.0s. And yeah, another, just another great pair of shoes. Oh man, I'm so excited. I can't wait to get all these listed. I really can't wait. That's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait, I cannot wait. All right, another pair of Nikes, another pair of Nikes. These ones here, an, a six youth. So again, six youth, you can increase that up to a women's size. Um, and I'm, like, I said, I, like I said before, I think it's about a one and a half. So I think these can be listed as an, a seven, sorry, I think I said eight and a half or seven and a half women's. Um, nice colorway with the neon yellow. It's got the Nike Air on the back. Nike Air Max, Air Max soles, nowhere on the, nowhere, almost nowhere on the soles, which is kind of surprising for like a youth size. These might've belonged to like a woman that was size seven and a half. I don't know if these were ever kids, like if these ever belonged to a kid because they do not look like they would have belonged to a kid. Not the way my kids street shoes. Oh man, another awesome pair. I'm running out of space. I'm running out of space. There's if you, if you go watch the videos, you will see just how many, I think it was almost 700 pairs of shoes that Drew got. And I'm getting overwhelmed by 21 pairs. Um, Cause yeah, he did throw that extra one in there. I'm getting overwhelmed by 21 pairs. He had 700 shoes to go through and he processed them in three days. That is insane. Okay. Oh, another, so another new with tag. Adidas new with tag are these ultra yeah these are ultra boosts oh no these are marathons yeah. but they look they almost look like ultra boosts a new with tag women's Adidas size nine really awesome colorway with the pink and the gray look at that salt never been worn still with the tag on it does it have the retail price on here let's see No retail price on the tag, but a brand new 
new with tags pair of women's Adidas. That is just awesome. Still, it's look at that. Still, if you can, I don't know if you can see it. I'm sorry with the camera. It still has the yellow new with tag sticker on the sole. Oh man, these these are gonna be a good price pair of shoes. These these there's the two. These ones are gonna make up for any 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 shoe that I can't double my money on. These will make definitely make up for it. All right, again, I'm putting stuff behind the box. I've ran out of room. I don't know what shoes. All right, so next up is a pair of Asics. These, these are one of the reasons why I picked this box. I love selling Asics shoes. They sell really, really well for me. These are a great colorway with the light blue and the yellow. These are a women's size seven. Again, you can still see the whole logo on the insole. The bottom of the shoe looks like maybe used once or twice. A couple rocks in there that I'll pick right out. Oh man. I, it's, these are, I, I can't, I cannot wait to get these listed. All right, now we got, we got a couple big ones here. Um, so these are a pair of Nike cleats. These look, the, yeah, these are brand new. These have never been worn. These, they don't have a tag, but I can very much tell these have never been worn. These are kind of like you would find in like a Ross. Like, you know, like you, you find them in a, yeah, it still, got the, it still has the paper in the toe. These are a size 12, great size for some football cleats. Really, really great. Look, I mean, just even, just the Nike quality on these is still crazy they make, that they put out cleats like this. The, the leather on here is just buttery. Everything looks perfect. These have never been worn. These are awesome. These are great. All right, and these last two are a little crazy. They're gonna sit, I already know, they're gonna sit for a little bit, but just looking at them, they look, they look visually like they're in great shape. But these are some big shoes. Um, I knew that they were gonna be in there when I bought them, um, but it's still crazy to see shoes this size sometimes. I, wear, I have a big foot, I wear a size 13. These are a size 15 and a half. Size 15 and a half. <laughs> Looks like, yeah, they these have maybe been worn to try on in a store. Some Nike Zoom shifts. Awesome condition. I love the purple. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it's a really awesome royal purple with that Nike logo. Awesome hits on the sides of the shoes. Again, these are gonna sit, but I don't think, they're not gonna, these aren't gonna sit for very long. They're, they're gonna sit for a little bit, but somebody that is size 15 and a half is gonna see these and want these shoes. If I was a size 15 and a half, I'd wear these. If these were in my size, I'd probably, I might even keep these. But another really awesome pair of shoes. All right, and the next shoes are some of the biggest shoes I've ever held in my hands. Um, but they're still not the biggest shoes in the lot. I think it was a size 21 was the biggest shoe that was in the original lot of shoes. These are a size 17. Where is it? A size 17 Nike Zooms. These are pretty cool though. I, I almost don't, I can't even hold two of them. It's going to take up so much room on the, on the camera. They have some vel like Velcro to seal up the shoe, no laces, giant Nike logo on the bottom. Just look at these compared to the size 15s. Like, there's not too much of a difference, but even then you can see that there's still a, a little bit of a difference on the size 15 and a half. But these are some big shoes. Again, these are going to sit. Um, there is a very specific person that these are gonna be for. Hopefully they find them. Um, but still a, I, I, again, I don't think these are, these are, these are so white and so clean that these can't have ever been worn. There's no way these have ever been worn. They're like not even, a, a piece of the logo on the bottom is gone. There's, they, these have never been worn. 
another new pair of shoes in this box. So amazing. All right, so that's it. 21 pairs of shoes. So excited. It's better than I actually thought it was going to be when I got it. Um, so I'm gonna take a few minutes. I'm gonna research all the shoes. I know it's already been long, but stick around. I'm gonna do a quick kind of just pan over the shoes and I'll put up what the value is and then we'll do a little bit of a breakdown at the end and I'll talk about what the profit's going to be potentially once I sell all these shoes and just how I feel about the whole deal. Catch you in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm gonna go through each pair of shoes pretty quick here, but talk about the profits. So this first pair is a pair of Asics Gel Cumulus. I'll pop up on the screen here. $28 profit is gonna be my estimate on these shoes. Moving over to these Adidas Marathon Tech. These are brand new with tags, gonna be a $40 on there. These are actually men's. Um, but I might list them as women's sizes as well. Next one over is going to be the Nike Marathon White 4s. $20 is going to be the profit on here for the sales comps. After that, we have Converse Chuck Taylors. These ones are going to be about $25. They're almost brand new, um, just a little bit of wear on there. So $25 profit on these ones. Next up, we have the New Balance these are going to be in the $30 range, comps at 40 free shipping, so $30 profit. Next one up is these Nike Dual Fusions. These ones are going to be a $20 profit. Next one is going to be these Saucony Cohesion 10s. These ones also $20 profit. And then these Merrill Women's Shoes here. $20 profit on these ones as well. Moving up to the Floor Shine. These ones are going to be a $30 profit. I'm going to list these as new other because they are completely unworn. Moving over to the Penny Loafers. These ones going to be about $25 on the profit for these ones. Next up, the Jambos. Not a lot of sold comps on here, but I feel like these ones are going to be around $27 profit after shipping costs. These Skechers on the go are brand new with tags. They are going to be about $35 profit again after shipping. Next up, we're a nice, really cool pair of Nike Kyrie's. These are a little bit smaller size, uh, but still I'm going to get $30 profit estimated on these ones. Moving over to these Brooks. So these Brooks were damaged, um, but that was fully disclosed. And there was another pair of shoes added. And these ones in good condition would get about $20. Um, I'm gonna still try to list them um, for about $10 plus shipping. So maybe recoup some of my costs there. Moving over to these Nike HyperRev 2015s. These ones are gonna be about $30 um, with sold comps on there. And the Vans. High tops here. These ones are going to be, would be about $20, but I do need a new pair of laces. So I'm going to take $2 off for those and get about $18 profit out of these. These Nike Training XT Motions, we got $27. This colorway I couldn't find any sales comps for, but I will pop up the other sale comp I have for a different colorway. Now these Brooks here, these ones are a little bit rare actually this colorway with the with the lime green all the way around are, are selling for a decent price so about thirty dollars would be the profit on these and actually the most valuable shoes are these next three coming up this first pair of nike harachi coupe cleats um, i'm estimating about forty dollars profit again these are brand new never worn uh, same with these next ones these zoom shifts these ones even at the high size um, you'll see some sold comps on here. It's going to be about $50 profit after shipping costs. And these last ones here are actually a pair of LeBron's, LeBron Soldier XIs. 
or Soldier 11s. These are another $50 shoe, even at this high size. All right, so let's wrap everything up. Um, I, again, went over all the shoes. So again, the original cost of the box, and this is shipped to me, was $250 flat. That is $12.50 per shoe. And for me, that was, sounded like a pretty good deal. So in my area and the way I source for my shoes here in Vegas, it's about, I would say 10 to $11 per pair of shoes that I'm flipping. So an extra dollar fifty for shoes that were in this volume and this quality and already cleaned, ready to go. I don't have to get in my car. I don't have to drive to a bunch of Googles and source. The deal made sense to me. And looking at the inventory via pictures, I knew, okay, I should double my money. And that was my goal. So let's talk about that. So if you've been following my channel, you know that for my shoes, I'm charging shipping. So when I gave my totals before, that was me already factoring in buyer paying for shipping. That was kind of gross profit for me. Now, the total estimated sales, and again, I'm being a little bit conservative with this because I don't want to pop out a number and then, you know, just for the sake of throwing out a big number. My total gross sales that I'm estimating on all of these shoes is $605. Now again, that's completely taking out shipping because I'm gonna be charging shipping on pretty much all of these and for the ones that I don't, I'm gonna roll it into the price. Uh, so that'll bring that up there. So again, $605 for gross sales. Now eBay fees are gonna be about 13%. So I'm gonna take that out of the total and that's gonna be $78.65 off of that 605. That brings my total net profit to $526.35, which is great. That's an increase of $276.35, so more than doubling my money. Not by a lot, but still more than doubling my money. And, you know, factoring out the fact that I'm doing a video about this, if I really just bought these shoes, processed them, got them up, and shipped them for sale, it would probably take me about three hours to get these all processed, pictures taken, up for listings, 21 pairs of shoes. I feel like that would be doable in that time if I really buckled down. So to break that down, I'd be making $92.11 for each of those hours worked, which is great. That's, you know, a, a fantastic, very well worth it. I am extremely happy, extremely satisfied with this box. I'm gonna make definitely a good profit on these. So, all right guys, so that's gonna do it for today's video. I have so many shoes here, I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna get them all listed, gonna get them all up for sale. Um, but thank you for sticking around with me. I know it was kind of a long video, but I was, again, really excited to get this box, wanted to get it open for everybody. Thank you again, Drew, uh, for this opportunity to, to do business with you. And, and, and thank you again to Rally Roots for starting the whole domino effect of these shoes getting to me. I uh, appreciate everybody watching, thanks so much. Stay tuned, I will definitely be updating with some what's solds in the future. I appreciate you coming to the video. Again, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun social media stuff. I'll catch you in the next one.